NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen has begun his week-long tour of America with a visit to wounded troops at the National Naval Medical Center in Washington. Together with General James Cartwright, the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mr. Rasmussen met with servicemen who have suffered severe injuries on the front line of the war in Afghanistan, an experience both men described as humbling. I'm both moved and impressed uh, by their bravery, um, their resilience, their strong will uh, to find a new way under these new circumstances. And let me add to this that I am deeply impressed uh, by the exceptionally good work done uh, by the medical center and its staff. The Secretary General paid tribute to the bravery of all those wounded in war and thanked them for their service. The visit, conducted without media presence, was an opportunity also to thank the staff at the hospital. The people that we met today, the, the doctors, the nurses, uh, the staff, uh, really impressed me. They know the people, they help set the goals, they, help, they cheer for the goals when they're met, they become part of the family. Bethesda Naval Hospital is currently treating 26 wounded troops, most of them from the conflict in Afghanistan. Since 2003, the hospital has treated more than 2,000 American service members. In September, it's set to merge with the Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington to create synergies and further expand the multidisciplinary care approach that has proven so successful. Multidisciplinary care is just a coordination of all the aspects of care that a person undergoes uh, following a traumatic incident. Uh, from the physicians to the, re to the rehab therapists to the psychologists and the psychiatrists. What's different about Bethesda is we put all those people into one room so that we can talk about not only their medical care but all the various aspects that affect their lives uh, from being here, from their family, how to care for their family that they're here, their financial issues, their military issues and as well as their medical care. I'm Mike Mühlberger reporting for the NATO Channel from Washington.